how to connect this card to an attend step by step hey everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can connect your discord server with an attend so you can automate your messages send alerts and even control your workflows directly from your discord servers without any code so what we are going to do in this video what first we will create credential for discord and i will show you how you can create credential for your pod and how you can set up the credentials then we will simply demonstrate a simple workflow where i will send a message to our discord server so let's get started the requirements are you need to have a discord account and the discord server so, and then you should have an attend account if you haven't set up an attend account just go into description and click on that link you will get 15 days of free trial of anaton so you can just start automating now let's get started first thing first as you can see i will show you a preview so i have connected this to our you know anaton so let me just add a message to demonstrate hello my name is anaton and let's execute this step and as you can see the content is hello uh, and let's see is this if this is message has been sent to our discord server or not now as you can see we have successfully sent our message now next step is in order to set up your credential what you have to do is just simply click on this discord button or if you haven't added your discord node go to this plus icon and search for discord and from there you have to choose action or trigger like create a channel or there are a lot of things you have to just simply select what you want to do so i have selected this message send message now after clicking or adding note what you have to do is set up a connection so what i'm going to do i will just simply connect with the bot so you have two to three types of things like you have auth2 then you have a webhook and then you have a bot token so I will go for bot token. So because it's very easy and and I'm using this hosted version of Anaton as well. So just simply click on this pencil icon and it will give you to bot token. Or if you haven't created any, so what you have to do is just simply click on this and click on this create new credential. So let's create a bot token. So in order to create a bot token, you have to go to Discord developer. So click on this open docs, you will get uh, from there, you will get the discord developer link or you can say uh, discord developer portal. So just simply click on this de uh, developer portal and then you have to enter your application name over here. Before that, you have to log in into it. If you are using for the first time, you will get to see a pop up where you have to log in or you have to enter your email address and password. So I will just simply add test to and then click on this create button. So the term service must be accepted. Let me just accept and click on this create button. Now then it will ask you to verify if it is you are, you are human or not. Then as you can see, we have successfully set up everything. Now over here you can set up your app icon and then you have the tags as well and if you want to add a description you can add and you have application id and then a public key as well so just scroll down we don't need to set up anything over here so you what you have to do is go to auth2 just simply go there and from here you can if you want to like use from auth redirect for example let me show you uh -huh. For example, if you want to use, uh, if you want to connect with Auth2, you can just simply click on it and click on the create credential, copy this your uh, redirect URL and get back to over here and add redirect URL and copy this client ID, paste into over here and then port token as well. You, you basically, you need port token. So I will show you that too. So let's get back and from here you have to select bot from auth to url generator and then after that you have to set up the uh, permissions 
So you can simply give us specific permissions to this bot, but uh, I will just add send messages and basically I will give administrator the general permissions. So from here you can generate URL for the auth to bot. But if you let's say if you want click uh like that's in get back and give related permission and administration and click on this copy button and open a new tab just let me delete these tabs and paste this tab uh, sorry link and after it will open this continue with the discord server it will ask you to permission or authorize with your discord as you can see uh, you have to add to server so i will add into let me anything server and click on this create or continue then it will ask you to authorize just simply authorize that now as you can see we have successfully tested has been authorized and added to anything server so let me show you just continue and authorize so let's close this now let me how many people in our server as you can see we have successfully added our test to bot over here so yeah we have added now let's go to next step which is let me just switch our desktop okay so now we need a bot so just simply go into bot from here and scroll down a little bit and then you have to reset your token just simply click on this reset token and then you have to click on this yes to it to get access of your bot token then you have to enter your uh, password of your discord account now we have successfully generated it just simply copy this and get back to anything and click on this uh, bot token again and create create new credentials paste that bot token into your bot token section and click on the save button it will test the connection and as as you can see here we have successfully connected our discord with an attend now let's uh, perform some simple task over here let's say i have selected selected this message resource and i want to send this message in the operation then from here you have to select the server there are a lot of server because I have created then I will choose anything now from there you have to choose uh, if you want to choose, uh, send for this message to a specific user or channel I will choose channel then uh, go to channel you will find different different types of channels of text now as you can see I have selected this general cha uh, general channel and then you have you can add a fixed message as well and you can give expression as well to this message box and then you have a lot of different different options like flags message reply message to reply uh or you can you you have to add for id for that and then you have embed and file as well let's say if you want to send a file to discord uh, channel you can just simply uh, connect it with it now uh, i will just send a message for this tutorial and then after setting set up all of these things in the node then simply execute this step now as you can see hello my name is Anatan or you can say my name is test 2 and then execute this step as you can see we have successfully executed this discord uh, operation so simply I will uh, open my discord now as you can see we have got our message into our this general channel so yeah this is how you can uh, simply connect your discord with anatin after the connection you once the connection is set up you will be able to send as i demonstrated automated message and you can simply uh, add a triggered workflow when new message are posted you can create bots that respond instantly and integrate discord with hundreds of other apps all running automatically in the background so if you found this video helpful then subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching if you have any suggestion to create a workflow just simply comment it down below i will create video for that thanks for watching